Now, in this uh, question, x of n is defined to be j power n plus j power minus n. Now, this j is a complex quantity. Uh, so, and we have j, uh, j as root of minus 1, j as root of minus 1, whereas j square is equal to minus 1. So, I need to first of all know whether this is a periodic signal or non-periodic signal. Then I can decide upon uh, whether I should go for checking the energy of the signal or the power of the signal. Now, <coughs> let me uh, put the values for n. x of 0 is j power 0 plus j power minus 0 that is 0 again. So it is 1 plus 1 that is 2. x of 1 is j power minus 1 plus oh sorry j power 1 plus j power minus 1. So it will be j plus 1 by j. So if I take the common denominator as j, I will be getting j square plus 1. Now what is j square? j square is minus 1. So I will be getting the value as 0. Now x of 2. What is x of 2? It is j square plus j power minus 2. It is j square plus 1 by j square. What is j square? Minus 1. Plus 1 by j square is also minus 1. I will be getting answer as minus 2. x of 3. It is j cube plus j power minus 3. So it is j cube plus 1 by j cube. It will be j cube can be written as j square into j plus 1 by j square into j. Now j square is minus 1. So I will be getting minus j plus 1 by minus j again. So if I take the common denominator as minus j, I will be getting minus j into minus j that is j square plus 1 divided by minus j. Now j square is what? Minus 1. So I will be getting a 0 again here. x of 4. x of 4 is j power 4 plus j power minus 4. Now j power 4 is what? j square into j square. j square into j square plus j power minus 2 into j power minus 2. So j square is minus 1 minus 1. This is also minus 1. So it will be plus 1. Here 1 by j square into j square it is minus 1 into minus 1 again. So I will be getting the value as 2. x of 5 will be j power 5 plus j power minus 5. So it will be j cube into j square plus j power minus 3 into j power minus 2. Now what is j cube? j cube is minus j. j square is minus 1. So you will get plus j and if you simplify this you will get minus j. So answer is 0. So now we can see that x of n is starting is repeating after 4 that means uh, after 3 that means what is x of 0 it is 2 x of 1 is 0 x of 2 is minus 2 x of 3 is 0 again x of 4 is 2 x of 5 is 0 then again if you uh, substitute the value you will get minus 2 and 0 and so on that means this pattern is repeating 2, 0, minus 2, 0, 2, 0, minus 2, 0 with n is equal to 0 at 2. So, my waveform of x of n is this one, this waveform I get and it is repeating after 4, in, I mean, 4 time intervals. So, this is my x of n after uh, substitution of n values for n. So at 0, I will be getting 2. At 1, I will be getting 0 amplitude. At 2, I will be getting minus 2. At uh, 3, I will be getting 0. At 4, 2, 0 and so on. So what is my fundamental period? Fundamental period is you start from here, one sample and repeat until you get that sample. I mean, traverse the signal until, until you get that sample back. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and you got the same sample back. So the capital N, that is the fundamental period is 4. Now, 
uh, since it is a power uh, periodic signal it has to be a power signal so what is the power of a discrete time signal it is 1 by n summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n whole square now what is the value of this capital n it is a fundamental period that is 4 samples so I can substitute here 1 by 4 summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 n minus 1 is 3 right because since you start from 0 it will be it has to be uh, till 3 it cannot go to 4 if you start from 1 it, it will be till 4 so that is why we have the equation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 and this is x of n whole square so if I substitute the values it is 1 by 4 if I substitute the value of n it is x of 0 square plus x of 1 square plus x of 2 square plus x of 3 square what is x of uh, 0 x of 0 is 2 2 square is 4 plus x of 1 is 0 it is 0 x of 2 is minus 2 minus 2 square is 4 x of 3 is 0 so you get 0 so it is 4 plus 4 8 divided by 4 it is 2 and the unit is watt so the power of this signal is 2 watt now in this uh, problem you have been given with uh, x of t which is half into cos omega t plus 1 when t is between minus pi by omega to plus pi by omega that means my x of t is having its value restricted between minus pi by omega to pi by omega that means it is a finite sequence so when you have a finite sequence it is obvious that it will not be a power signal it has to be a energy signal because it is extending between some particular points minus pi by omega to plus pi by omega so it is integration uh, minus infinity to infinity x of t whole square dt now what is the limit it is minus pi by omega to plus pi by omega and x of t in that range is half 1 plus cos omega t this square dt now 1 by 2 whole square is 1 by 4 and uh, cos function uh, I mean 1 plus cos omega t whole square is 1 plus cos square omega t plus 2 cos omega t dt now I'll if I substitute minus like this so 1 plus cos square omega t is uh, cos square theta cos square theta is 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2 so I I need to write cos 1 plus cos 2 theta cos 2 theta is 2 omega t plus 1 by 2 it is 1 plus cos 2 times theta theta is what omega t so it is 2 cos omega t dt now if I simplify this further 1 by 4 into integration of 1 with respect to t is t from so this is the outer uh, bracket and the inner uh, integration is integration of 1 is t from pi by omega to minus pi by omega plus you have 1 by 2 cos 2 omega t so 1 by 2 integration minus pi by omega to pi by omega uh, cos 2 omega t dt plus half into integral of 1 that is t from pi by omega to minus pi by omega plus 2 into cos integral minus pi by omega to pi by omega cos omega t dt this is a complete thing now integration of cos 
over an entire period this is a period right Ma it is uh, a, what is the total period uh, you get is minus uh, pi by omega minus minus pi by omega so the uh, total width is 2 pi by omega so if you integrate cos function over entire period it will be eventually result it will result in zero uh, we have seen in the previous lectures so here also since you integrate it over uh, entire period it will be zero uh, if you are not uh, happy with the discussion what i have given here i mean what, uh, the point which i have given here it is uh, integration of a cos function over entire period is zero you can directly integrate cos uh, is sine and apply the limit you will finally end up getting zero so my answer is 1 by 4 into t apply by applying the limits pi by omega minus minus pi by omega so it is pi by omega minus minus pi by omega yeah this is zero the third term would be half into again pi by omega minus minus pi by omega so it is 1 by 4 into this is 2 pi by omega 2 pi by omega plus this is 2 pi by uh, 2 pi by omega divided by 2 so you get pi by omega so 2 pi by omega plus 1 pi by omega it is 3 pi by omega so 3 pi by 4 omega is the answer and uh, the unit is joules Now in this question you are asked to find uh, whether uh, u of n is an uh, energy signal or a power signal. See uh, u of n is uh, it repeats itself after every sample. So u of n starts from 0 and it uh, goes till infinity. Now the power is a limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 summation n is equal to minus n to n x of n whole square now we know that u of n starts from uh, it is unit step signal starts from 0 and goes till infinity right starts from 0 and goes till infinity so limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 since my u of n starts from 0 my lower limit is uh, will also be from n is equal to 0 to n because uh, there will be no negative part on time scale because u of n starts from 0 and it goes till infinity and uh, magnitude of x of n whole square so it is uh, limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 now summation n is equal to 0 to n what is x of n uh, value from uh, 0 to n it is 1 u of n uh, amplitude is 1 from 0 to infinity so it is 1 square now sim limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 summation n is equal to 0 to n 1 the value of this summation is n plus 1 and how do i say that is summation of n is equal to 0 to 2 of 1 is what it is at n is equal to 0 here your x of n is 1 at n is equal to 0 the amplitude is 1 at n is equal to 1 amplitude is 1 at n is equal to 2 amplitude is 1 then n, at n is equal to 3 it is 0 because my summation is from 0 to 2 so answer is 3 that means if you submit a signal with the amplitude of, uh, if you submit 1 from 0 to 2 it will be 3 1 more so if you summate uh, this 1 from 0 to n it will be n plus 1 so I will be getting limit n tends to infinity it is n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1 now uh, you know that when it is uh, limit n tends to infinity uh, better to take n out so that I will get n in the denominator so I will be taking n out from the numerator I will get 1 by 1 by n 1 plus 1 by n here if I take n out I will get 2 plus 1 by n so this n gets cancelled now if I why did I do that 
here is uh, if I substitute uh, the value of n to be n, then it is infinity by infinity. It is uh, undefined, right? So I <coughs> will uh, be getting uh, infinity by infinity value which is not defined. So this is a me uh, method of solving uh, limit when you have n tends to infinity. So if I substitute now in this you get 1 plus 1 by infinity. 1 by infinity is 0. So you get 1 plus 0 divided by 2 plus 1 by infinity again is 0. So answer is half. Half that. So I have solved uh, various types of problems uh, under uh, energy and power signals. Uh, so if you have any other problems which I have to I need to discuss so you can um, give it in the comment section uh, I would be happy to solve and upload the video again thank you for watching